Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to monetize your Flutter application. So, without any delay, let's get started. So, uh, so just visit the Google Art Map uh, dashboard page and uh, inside the apps, so I'll just click uh, add the app. I'll just click a platform here. So, it's no and click continue. Just give it a name. And hit add up so we have successfully added the application I'll just go back and uh, inside the app overview page add a add unit and select the uh, banner that you want to like uh, display in the user application and give it a name okay so we have created successfully so this is our uh, id of the ad and we have to copy that i'll just click copied it and uh, instead the vs code make sure that you have added the google mobile ads package so which will add the ad mob sdk into our, into our flutter and uh, inside the manifest file Android manifest we have to add this metadata here with the application ID which we have created before so I have added here and uh, for iOS you have to add it in uh, info.plist and uh, after that so inside the main function I have just uh, initialized the mobile SDK here mobile ads SDK and uh, after that i've created a my banner ad and uh, and uh, intersectional ad so there's a two type of ad i have defined here so so inside the init set i have initialized the both ads so here i'm using the test ad unit id so which will be like used for some testing purpose you can use it there and i have given the test ad unit id and after that i have given a size and uh, this will be like uh, i want add any listeners on the request here so you can also add it here you can like uh, listen to the particular life cycle even which is occur when that ad is displaying and here i have added the uh, interstitial ad so this is how you have to add the interstitial ad and you have to give the id as a test ad unit id and if you want to go to like uh, production or live so you can use the real id so for now i'm using the test id here so here, here too we will be having some certain uh, life cycle methods called uh, loaded or failed uh, something like that so after the add loader it, it will be giving back the callback add function so which we can use it to store the interstitial add and after after we have received the add loader state and we will be showing the interstitial add so inside the build i have just added the add widget inside of my banner so here i will be created the my banner thing so yeah so th that's all guys so now we'll see the output now so now our app our app is open now so so this is the international ad so this will be like uh, uh, fitting the entire screen to be showing here uh, so you can just close it here and inside the screen uh, you can see this this is the banner ad so you can see here so this also works so this is how the ad mobiles works in flutter guys and you can also have a uh, two different uh, like uh, two more ads like uh, you can display the native ads via uh, inside the android or uh, especially for ios so you can have that uh, native field ads and after that you can also having the uh, rewarded ads which will be like used to like interact with the user and user can play with it so, so that type of ads also uh, available so you can use uh, like uh, wisely which which the which type of uh, like uh, ad that you want to use in your application so if you are targeting if you are using uh, like uh, creating the some game application you can like uh, definitely use the rewarded ad so if you can just uh, like uh, use that in a efficient way so this is how the mobile ads works in uh, flutter 
and uh, that's all for today's video guys we'll see you in the next video stay tuned